All right, so today I'm gonna to start working on my M16. I'll create an M16 with a mesh part and then put a carry animation on it. I thought that'd be pretty cool, but I don't want it to mess up my pistol. So if we go to pistol, there we go. We got the default tool none, and then we have our M16. That's pretty cool. They're not messing each other up. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so I have a fresh world right here. I'm gonna to go to the toolbox and see if I can find a mesh for my M16. And I put it in here so I wouldn't have to fumble around with it. I like these three. I played with them. I'm gonna get this first one. I'll use that one. Technically, I think I just used the first one and the third one. Cool. I'm gonna call this gun part. Gun part. There we go. I change the color. I'll make it like a darker gray. And then material, I'm gonna hit M and then arrow down to metal. Cool. Now this is really big. If we go down, size, 50 studs on the X is huge. Let's go ahead and get our scale. I'm gonna hold down the shift to maintain my aspect ratio and then just shrink the whole thing down to maybe four. That's good. You can hit F to frame in. I like that. I want, the, I want it to be a little shorter this way though, because my Roblox arms are kind of stubby and I need to be able to reach that barrel with my, with my left hand. So I'm just gonna get the red dot without holding shift, just make it shorter, maybe 3.6 or so. That's pretty good. Nice, let's, uh, let's rotate this so that it's upright. I have that on 15 degree increments for my rotation under model. I think I'm gonna make it a little thicker though. Go to scale, just a little thicker. A little more Robloxy. looks a little hardier. I like that. All right, now we gotta put it in a tool. So let's go to workspace, hit the plus, T for tool, there's a tool. There we go. Tool's gonna be M16. Go ahead and click on that, M16. Let's get our gun part, drag it into the M16 tool. Nice. We need a handle. You can just add a part, right? Boom. There we go. We need to know which way the front of the part is. So I will hit this plus, add a decal. Ah, uh, there's the front. It defaults to the front. So I want the front of my handle facing the front of my M16. Let me delete that decal so I know which way front is. Let's rotate. There. Now they're facing the same way. That's what I like. Let's go ahead and change the name of part to handle. Drag it into the M16. Cool. I'm gonna make this small. You can leave it big and then just turn can collide and transparency off, but I always make mine small, like 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0.1. Nice. And then I'm gonna put that handle inside the M16. I'm just gonna get the gun part get the position of the gun part, do a control V to copy, whoops, or control C to copy, control Z will undo, control C, there we go, go to handle, and there's my position, control V to paste the gun part position into the handle position. Now we're right inside there, and it's centered, so I can move it to where I want, Maybe down a little bit. That's pretty good. Nice. All right, I need to weld these together. So I'm just gonna use a weld constraint. Hit the plus on the M16 tool, hit a W for weld constraint. Click weld constraint, part zero, gun part, part one, handle. And you can do that in any order, right? As long as they're connected with a weld constraint. Nice. I think we're good. Let's go to plugins. And I'll go to build rig. I'm gonna use R15. If you're using R6, obviously use R6. Get a man rig, because it looks most like my player. There we go. And then I'm gonna get my M16, drag it down into my dummy. That way I have some visual cues when I'm, when I'm doing my animations. Let's go to animation editor, click on it. Click on your dummy. Go ahead and name it. I'm gonna call it M16 carry. Cool. I'm gonna to go to these three dots. I am gonna change the animation priority to action. I know you can't see these bottom ones. Action should be sufficient. We want to 
squash our default tool none. We're not gonna mess with it, we're not gonna take it out or switch it out because we still want it for some of our tools that are already in the game. So let's go here and hit these three dots, save this animation, and you'll see Anim saves over here in the Explorer under the dummy. There it is, M16 carry. All right, so here's our timeline, our scrubber bar. We're only gonna use um, one set of keyframes. I'm gonna hit this arm right here. No, I think I'll start with the torso. Let's start with the torso. I'm gonna make him 45 degrees back. That's three clicks, because I have this on 15 degree increments. Notice that L there. That's because I have this on, on local, uh, on the local coordinate space, right? Control L will do that. Is it control? Let me check it real quick. It's Alt L, not Control L. Alt L switches it from local to, um, to global coordinate space. I forgot. Anyway, I'm going to get my head right here. I'm going to go up a little bit, hit the E. I'm going to make him facing forward. Just his body is going to be turned 45 degrees. Is that front? Nope, one more click. Get the head. Boom. Cool. Nice. Now, I need a little contr more control on my arms. I have that at 15 degree increments. That's not going to work. I'm going to go to model and I'm going to make it like half of that. I'm going to do like 7.5. Cool beans. I'm going to move this arm up on the red. Let's move it up to about. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's good. All right, let's get that upper arm. I lost it. I clicked on something. And then I'm going to move the blue over a little bit. One, two, let's see, maybe right about there. A little more. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. Oh, and I lost this arm. I'm going to grab that arm again. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. That's not bad. Yeah, we're going to do some rotation on the hand too. So don't worry about that stock cutting into your arm yet. Let's move this over with a blue. We'll do maybe two clicks. Yeah, nice. Now I'll do the hand. I'll get the hand. There's the hand. Hit the blue. I want it so that the stock, I don't want it too close to my chin. Yeah, you're going to get the stock close, like right in there. It's not going to be it's not going to be quite exactly how it would be in real life, right? Roblox characters aren't are pretty close but not exact. There, move that up. Yeah, I'm 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 liking that. I think maybe I think maybe I'll move that arm out one click. Let's try this arm though, see if we can reach it. Let's move it up. Boom, that's pretty close to my red. We change the, let's get one click here. Get that hand. So I got the lower arm of that one click. No, not that. Let's get our green. Yeah, that's what I want. And then I get the red. Nice. Blue. Looking good. Maybe get one more click in here. Should we do lower arm? Yeah, that's not bad. Just one more. Let's just get a little bit of red in here just to turn that hand. Nah, I knew I was going to mess it up. Nope, got it. I don't know. That's going to be good enough, I think. No, I can't leave it. I got to do it one more. I got to do it one more. Let's get a little lower. That's about as good as I'm going to get. All right, let's continue. So let's save that off. Save. And now we're going to publish to Roblox. Look at that. Automatic save. It messed up. You could see that the saving under the uh, for the animations 
is not precise at all. So it's saved under something else. That's fine though. You're just gonna have to remember that. This is gonna be the most up-to-date one. All right, we'll call this M16 carry. That has gotten me many times before I realized that was happening. I'm gonna hit the submit. I'll hit this ID right here. Hit those boxes, nice, ID copied. And I'll close this. I'm gonna to go to my M16, hit the plus, animate, not animator, uh, do animation. There we go, animation, little film thing. And then let's put our ID in there. Control V to paste, nice. And then I'll call this M16 carry. All right, looking good. Let's get our gun and move it down into our starter pack. Where's our starter pack? There it is. And we'll start scripting from there. That way we don't forget where it's at when we go to test it out. So on my M16, I'm gonna hit this plus in a local script. I'm gonna call this shoot and shoot and put an M16 so I don't get confused if I have my pistol up with the shoot script on it. And I'm gonna put the very basic template of my shoot script from the pistol video. You're more than, more than welcome to watch it, but this will save a little bit of time. These animation videos can be a little bit tedious, so I wanted to save a little bit. So I have my unactivated uh, stub function, on equip and on unequip, and I connected those to the gun. Let's go ahead and add two more variables, one for our carry. Right, so we'll do like a M16 carry. Let's just do carry and M. And then we'll get script.parent, wait for child, M16 carry. And we want a variable for our track. So let's do a carry track. Whoops. We're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it uh, accessible for the entire script so that we can destroy it when we're done. We don't want it building up. So I'll do nil right there. All right, now I'm gonna do another function. I think I'll do it up near the top, above my on act, on activated. Do local function, do animations. And I'll put all my animation stuffs in there. I'm gonna put a character, and then I'm gonna put a flag saying whether we're equipping or unequipped. So of course this will be true if we're equipped and false if it's unequipped. I need to get my humanoid. We're gonna pass the character in, so I'll say char, wait for child, humanoid. All right, then we'll do local. Uh, let's do a wait for child for our animator too. Animator. That's in the hum. We'll say wait for child, animator. All right, then we're gonna do an if statement, if, equipped then, right? So if we're equipping, I'm not even gonna bother turning off the tool none track for my character because I have a higher priority than that if this will override it. So I'll say carry track equals animator load animation. And that's my carry anim. All right, so carry in, and we're gonna load it in, and then we're gonna get a variable for the carry track, right? And then we'll get our carry track and play. Cool, now what else can happen? So we're un we could unequip, right? So I have an else if, well, if equipped was not true, then we're gonna go down to else if, but we still have to check to see if the carry track exists in case it didn't get destroyed in some other way. All right, so we'll say carry track stop, carry track destroy. Now I know a lot of people have been saying, been asking whether the, the character does cleanup on its animations. Um, I sat there and spammed the animations like 600 times in between. It does seem to clean up, but in the animate script, in your character, they do destroy the animations when they stop them. So I figured I'd do that too, just in case. Now we need to call this. 
All right, so we'll do a control C, go down here, control V, and we're equipping, so I'm gonna make this true. And here we're unequipping, control V, make this false. Now I have a character here. Oh, I have a character here. It's global to the script, local to the local, but to the entire script, right? So right here, we should not have a problem with that being um, being nil. You could do a check though, just in case. I think when you die, this this gets fired. So yeah, we're we're good. We'll be all right. Let's go ahead. We'll we'll do a death just to see what happens, just to see if we get any problems. Let's do output. Let's try it. It's not looking bad. It's not bad. I think that's better than my demo, actually. Cool. All right, let's let's see what happens if we die. Let's reset character. Yeah, I want to reset. Oh, that that oof sound is terrible. Yeah, looking looking good. Looking good. All right. So we will continue with the M16 after that. We got a nice, nice cool carry animation. I'm liking that. I will see you in the next video.